Jimmy here in Arizona. Once again, we're going to go over uh, different levels. Uh, this is for medical, but it is very similar to survival or EDC. It is level one on your body or person. Level two is on your kit or on you know a small bag or inside your purse. Level three is ruck or truck. Level four is your PV or your home. Okay, so continue on those. So medical on your person. Okay, so you have medical on your person. Uh, a lot of people in the army, we had IFACs, all right, individual first aid kits, and these were uh, common to everybody. And the goal was to always try and have these set up the exact same way. So when you tear open mine, mine looks like yours, and you and yours look like mine. All right, tape, uh, control bleeding. Uh, this one right in here is a seatbelt cutter, able to get it out. Um, I, gloves. Needles for needle decompression, gauze, and uh, a couple other things. So uh, that's the little handy dandy neat little pouch there. Uh, you can find those on eBay or Amazon. They're all over the place. Um, other great things to have: tourniquets. So we would have, I would have, we would have a tourniquet in our bottom left pocket. All right, that would be always be there, the same one. And then we would have one uh, on our on our body armor up here. Uh, most of the time with retainer bands. Um, in mine, trauma shears, you know, always good to have a good pair of trauma shears, uh, Leatherman actually makes a really badass pair. Um, airway, all right, airway tubes, a bunch of different kinds, simple ones out there, all right. The old school Vietnam style, uh, bandages, these are still coming handy, it's really good to have. And then Israel has improved it, the Israeli bandage, another great thing to have inside, inside your kit. And that's your level one. Of what you want to have uh, things that I always added on there was tape all right white tape uh, there was another one on there but another quick one uh, and, and then um, another this is uh, North American rescue the uh, needle decompression tube right in there and then also sometimes I would have on here is a red chem light all right red is normally the international <laughs> color for distress or I'm in trouble um, other things that you have that goes into survival as well as, uh, you know, your headlamp, you know, for mine, I have the red, you know, so you can sit there and signal, all right. Cause you always want to be able to signal and wait for help. All right. It's just something that you just really, that you just really just kind of want to do. All right. So that's your level one. Um, but how do you keep all that on your person? Like, how do I have all that? How do I put all that on my person? All right. For my IFAC and everything else. So what I have, all right. As I have my pouch on my belt, all right? It's woven, it's woven in here on my belt. All right, so now, you know, and this would be on my utility belt and everything else like that. So if I'm going out in the bush with my kids, or a lot of times when I go out the range and I teach and I train, uh, this will be on my person on my belt, all right? How it's uh, woven in horizontal, that is so if I'm laying on my back, all right, my buddy can come up and dig in there and start digging my pouch and I'm sitting there laying on my back, or he flips me over and I'm on my side. All right, so, um, and also if I need to get into it, I can get into it, all right? But a lot of times this is for you, this is for your buddy to, uh, to treat for uh, wounds and shock. So that's on, just woven into my belt, it's woven into my belt loops, you know, it's something really easy to have, but all that will fit into here or other parts of my pockets are on my body, all right? So that is my level one, all right? My level two goes in this pouch right in here, all right? And that's in my kit. All right, that's in my back, that's in my, a lot of times it's on my kit, it's on my pack, all right, and I'll keep this with me, all right. Uh, uh, also, for training-wise, um, EMTB, PHTLS, Ranger First Responder, um, CLS, did a couple other courses, Mountain, uh, Mountain Medical Services, a bunch of other courses that I've been to, great for that. Um, uh, BMMC, Basic Military Mountaineering, Advanced Military Mountaineering, talk a lot about more about medevac, more than medicine, but it's also a lot of uh, control the patient in, in cold, in heat. Uh, I've been on several real world uh, medevacs as a ranger instructor um, out in the middle of nowhere, and all you have to rely on is, is your walk team, all right, is your ranger buddies. And they were the best, they were the best and brightest that I ever, that I ever had and I ever served with. And I, if I was gonna be anywhere in a horrible situation, it was going to be the dudes that I served as an RI with. They were the best, best and brightest. All right. So in that in that secondary pouch that I have, that's my blowout pouch. I normally have that in my in my assault pack or some, or or uh, on my kit. And my kit has a pouch I can put it in there. 
because a lot of times when I roll out there and I train, um, when I go out there and I teach, uh, I'm the range master as well as the uh, team medic uh, on the ground route uh, shooting and training uh, with some of the guys that I train with. All right, a lot of the same stuff, but I keep over in here. These are the uh, I had a bunch of these. I got to find the bag for it. North American Rescue gloves. They're handy dandy tan. All right, um, uh, cravats. These are awesome. Control bleeding for splinting for just all around. Great to have more Israeli dressings, more North American rescue, uh, compressed gauze. Uh, and here I have uh, waterproof two by twos, uh, as well as I have uh, ibuprofen. Um, I have a couple condoms in here. That's for another reason. It's not for, you know, in the event of you're in an emergency situation and you need to have uh, protective sexual intercourse. It's not what they're there for. All right, there's uh, several other reasons that you get to have condoms. And uh, these, these, these blend in medicine and survival and your EDC, they kind of go hand in hand. So as you both go in there, you know, in this one moment, this will be handy. In this one moment, this will be handy. All right, I need a Gerber over here to, to fix something for the medevac. And then I need, you know, needle decompression or, you know, we're in a situation where we need water or need to waterproof something. Uh, you have a condom, you know, whatever, what have you. Um, North American Rescue Needle Starter Kit. All right, those are really cool to have. All of it's compressed, it's um, sterile. That's another big thing that you wanna have is everything's sterile, all right? More needles for IVs, IV tube, all right? Tube starter pack, all right? This hems it handy if you need to start doing, uh, putting in an IV, all right? And then uh, you have uh, more needle decompression because that will definitely kill your ass, you know, if you get popped in the chest and you can actually sustain for a decent amount of time on that one. A razor, all right? A surgical blade that's, uh, it's sterile and ready to go. Uh, more, you know, scissors other than the trauma shears, you know, and then uh, clamp, you know, if you need to, and clamp. Uh, it's for advanced training. Careful, cautious when you're using that. Um, and then signal. There's another thing I always keep out on these. I always try to have a bunch of these on me. Uh, I got a, these are, uh, I got these from Supply and I hand them out to my guys. This one I just so happened to keep in my pocket before I got out. Um, you can cut them up, a bunch of strips, but you can let somebody know where you're at. All right, this is a big whoa. All right, so if you're lost in the woods, or if you're in a search and rescue situation, or what have you, the ability to signal somebody is awesome. Okay, so and then more advanced level. This is my mo this is my wife. She's a medic. All right, this is her med pack, and it is full of everything to life saving, to she can perform or be prepared to support somebody for small surgery. This is a very large bag. It is filled to the gills with everything that she would need or I would need um, for uh, long sustainment. That's normally in the car or the truck when we go camping or if we go out in the bush. Uh, that's a big hardcore level three. So I uh, hope this was handy as well to learn more and on and have a solid understanding Several books out there, uh, the uh, Ranger Trauma book, uh, as well as uh, uh, Jay Sock has got a publication coming out, Special Operations Medic Handbook. Um, but for low down and unsolid understanding, 100 Deadly Skills, right here. You go into number 92, right there. What's that? Primary Assessment, all right? So BSI Scene Safe, that was one of the things that was taught in EMT, all right, as well. Stop bleeding. There's all the information right there to stop bleeding. All, all the pressure points and everything else like that. Gunshot wounds. What happens in a gunshot wound? All right. You know, sucking chest wound in detail. Great book right here. 100 Deadly Skills by Clint Emerson. Retired United States Navy SEAL. All right, big fan. Um, great publications. Uh, always, uh, you know, mention those. They're a great book, great book to have. Um, I'm AZPSG. Keep around in the chamber, range lead the way.